So I'm Cameron Davies. Uh, I'm the Chief Data Officer for Yum Brands. We're the world's largest restaurant company. So we're in 155 different countries and with four iconic brands, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Habit Burger, and KFC. And I'm responsible for managing data and analytics across the enterprise. We break it into what we call kind of easy operations, easy experiences, and then easy intelligence. How do we use data? How do we use digital to create better experiences for the team members in the restaurants? Everything from where my team helps build AI that generates how much food we should order, how fast should we cook it, how much should we cook, etc. Are we getting you relevant offers? Are we remembering you? Are we rewarding you? Does that experience show up when you move off your phone and into the actual brick and mortar location. That's where we're starting to really lean in and use that data to change that experience. It's a journey. It's a journey. Um, we're all going through it together. It's not seamless, but we're, we've been vocal on the record that we want to lead the way in how that, how that happens. Our journey was more about coming to the realization that it is one of the world's largest restaurant companies and looking at the data we had going, oh, wait a minute. If you want your pizza delivered on time and hot, because who doesn't want hot, chewy cheese on their pizza, you're willing to give us a lot of information about yourself to make that happen. So there's this natural value exchange that takes place almost more than any other business you've ever seen. And it started to ask questions like, well, how many, how much first party data do we have? And you start asking yourself that question, you start going in and looking and you're like, holy smokes. When you've got four really great brands with a natural reason for a value exchange, turns out you've got some really good data. Awesome. How effectively are we using it? From an operations perspective, to deliver on a customer promise, turns out pretty good. From a forward thinking digital world, one-to-one -one marketing perspective, not as well as we could. So for us, the journey has been, how do we do that? Why do we buy a CDP? It was about finding the right partners, somebody who wanted to go on a journey with us a good vendor relationship is a good partner relationship and that's what we were looking for and that's where we landed where we landed it was it was commercials are important and functionality is important and, and all those things make sense but it was once you got to the tie break there were some good companies that could do all of those things but it was really more around okay now who do i want to if i'm going to lock in with somebody at this level i want to make sure that we're going to work is somebody i want to work with for the next x number of years So if I was gonna describe my experience with treasure data so far, I'd say satisfying. And the reason I say that is this has been an interesting journey. And I'm sure it's been an interesting journey for Kaz and the treasure data leadership too, because until you've tried to work in a franchisee type environment, you don't understand what collaboration looks like. And at Yum, we like to use the term taking people with you because I can't tell anybody to do anything. Right? I need to move people along in the journey with me to get them to where I think they need to be and then adjust and listen along the way. We need to move a little bit and flex because that's what a journey is, right? It's never a linear line. And so it's been satisfying to me to work with a treasure data team as we've, because we've had to flex. but. It's always satisfying to me when you can see other leaders that go, okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. We're with you. We're in this together. How do we make it work? Um, and that's what I've enjoyed with the partnership so far. <laughs>